When you visit Giro d'Italia in Melbourne, you will be having the best tiramisu of your life. I don't say that lightly. Dom DeMarco, he does make a sensational tiramisu and he's here to show us how to make it from scratch. He's even going to make the biscuits. Exactly right. That's how we start, Justin. So how do you make the saviardi, yes? Yeah? Savoyardi or lady Savoyardi. fingers. Lady, lady fingers, <laughs> they know it very well as well. I've actually never made them from scratch. I'm really interested. In the bowl here, what have you got? So we got the egg yolks mm -hmm. and then we can start to whip them. Okay. Do you want to start to put the sugar for me? Sure. And for those who don't know, your restaurant name, it, it's yeah. uh, named after a very famous um, cycling exactly race right. in Italy. Exactly right. And it's uh, called Giro d'Italia because, yes, my restaurant is a tour of Italy. And where does tiramisu come from in Italy? Tiramisu comes from Veneto, from oh. the north of Italy. Now that's almost doubled in size, now we, pale in colour. Now we're ready, Justin, for the next step. Mm -hmm. you, you can start for me to fold the flour mm -hmm. and the corn flour. It doesn't matter which one you put. And little by little add or just... Little by little. Yeah. And this has been sifted and that's important? It is very important, that a, a, a measure step, otherwise we're going to found our mixture full of lamps. Oh, we don't want that. Okay. No way. Now we start to fold it with the spatula. Okay. We get all our mixture. We don't want to lose anything, yeah? Corn flour, very interesting yeah. to add that. What does that give the... So it, gi the it gives to the Savoyardi, it will help them to puff, oh. OK? And they will give them the nice and spongy uh, uh, characteristic of the, of the corn yeah. flour because, remember, this one now has to soak all our coffee mixture. Mm. Okay. After that, you see, now is a nice and thick paste, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. We can start now slowly to fold our egg white. Okay, so we whisk this with uh, some sugar. So we've got stiff peaks and yeah. little by little we're gonna add them. This is the only, I say, delicate step of mm -hmm. the Savoyardi, okay? Yeah. For the rest is a very, very easy step, as you yeah. can see, okay? Yeah. And that just reiterates how important it is to get a fluffy ladyfinger biscuit. Bravo. We're wanting to not only use the corn flour, but the air from the egg whites. As you can see, Justin, this is the consistency we want okay. before we bake our Savoyardi. You see, it's quite whipped, fluffy, mm. but firm, you see? This is now ready to go in our piping bag. Okay. Okay. What do we do? We get a piping bag. Mm -hmm. And we've got a tray. Pull it up a little bit. Brava. We've just lined the tray with some baking paper. Yeah. And you really do need a piping bag for this because we want to make that perfect finger-like uh, exactly right. shape. Yep. Exactly all right. Mm -hmm. And also it's important how tall and long we're going to do because we'll take if we do all the same, where they will cook all, you know, all nice and homogeneous. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, very easily. All we do, we start to pipe our Savoyardi or Lady Fingers. Roughly that big, okay. Nice. It's got a gorgeous little gloss to it. Yeah, it looks nice. it. And then, you know, you will see after, it will puff, it will be double-sized and that. Yeah. It will be, look beautiful. Okay, now the next step is to dust a little bit of icing sugar on top. You can do that. Oh, too no, much? Yeah, no worries, no, no, no problem, easy. And what does that do? So what does that do? It will protect the dough mm -hmm. from the heat of the oven. Right. So it will give more heat to the biscuit. It will prove much ah. faster and will make that beautiful little crust, which is characteristic mm. of the Savoyardi. Tricks of a wonderful chef. These go into the oven, what temperature and for how long? 200 degrees for roughly 9, 11 minutes. Okay. The Savoyardi is cooking, so what's next? Now we do the cream, mm -hmm. the most delicious part of the tiramisu. Mm, yes. As you can see, now the sugar syrup is 118 degrees for two reasons. One's because the thermometer, it tells in me. Okay. okay so, but if you don't have a thermometer at yes. home, when it does this little bubble, mm. is roughly between 115, 100 to 18 degrees, okay? okay? Good indicator. Okay, mm -hmm. now I'm gonna put the gelatin, which has been already socketed before. Mm -hmm. We melt nicely. Okay. okay. Now you can see the gelatin is melted. Mm -hmm. Would you mind to pour in for me? Sure. And I start to whisk. It's always better when you're doing this yeah, with exactly. two people. So one person Go. slowly adding. You don't want to add too much at the beginning or else we'll get scrambled no. eggs. Bravo. Okay. You, but you keep going, keep going, slowly, slowly. Keep going. Yeah, slowly yes, keep sure. going. And what are we looking for at this stage with the egg? What will happen to the eggs? So what happened to the eggs, we make 
This one will give a very nice fluffiness to the end of the result of our cream. Plus, the good thing we do, we pasteurize the eggs. You know, yes. you never know, you know, it's a good, a good step, good yeah. safe step we do for our tiramisu. Yeah, because the other option is you just whisk the eggs with just caster sugar as is, yeah. um, which also works a treat. Exactly, yeah. yeah. At this stage, we put the mascarpone on it. Sure. So some nice mascarpone. And yeah. is it a good tip to have the mascarpone not too cold? It's a very good tip. When yeah. we start to do the Savoyardi, we take up, out from the, our fridge and yeah. we put with us. So it will be nice and ready. Because mm. once is, the mascarpone is not so cold, it will be even easier to fold it in. Yes, all okay. right. Yes. Because mascarpone can sometimes be a little temperamental. So yeah. if it's not happy, exactly. it can split. So having exactly. everything roughly the same temperature is a safe option when you're making this at home. I love mascarpone. Okay, there we go. Bravo, Justine. You see, it's folded in mm. nicely. And after that, mm -hmm. when this one will be nice and all incorporated, we can start with our buffalo ricotta. Okay, buffalo ricotta. Oh, I love this on my toast in the morning, but when it's put into a gorgeous tiramisu, it's so good. Yes. And, you know, this is a fresh ricotta. You don't want to use fresh something liquidy. Or... No, we want this one because it's nice and thick and has a beautiful flavour. And now it's time for our cream. OK, I can do that for you. Thank you very much. So you use this part, you know, use the next. This one now again, we fold in bit by bit, okay? And it's very important that the cream is not over whipped. Okay. We wanna do soft whip, mm -hmm. okay? Because while we do this stage, okay, we're gonna incorporate even more air to our cream, okay? Okay, well, we'll finish incorporating the cream and then all we need to do is wait for the bickies to finish cooking, cool down and the fun stage assembling. Okay, Justin, the mm -hmm. biscuit then been cooked. Yes. We actually cooled them down for a little bit. They look fantastic. They look good, isn't Very it? Nice. They're nice and fluffy and yes. light. They look what we need. Okay, now for me, can you do the mixture to, to soak them? Yes. Start with the coffee. Yes. In it goes. Nice, yeah. strong coffee, Italian coffee. Nice, strong coffee, cool them down. Mm -hmm. Go straight with the sugar for me. Okay, just for extra sweetness. Yeah, just a little bit. Mix very well just to let the sugar dissolve. Mm -hmm. Go in with the marsala. Marsala. That's an integral part of a tiramisu. It's a very mm. important part of the tiramisu. We need a little bit of alcohol, isn't yes. it? Now, you just get your Savoyardi, dip quickly. Two seconds for each part, one and two, one and two, and go in the bowl. Done. Okay. And Do this for another six times. And you're like, oh, it's not soft yet, but you don't want it to be soft. It's going to slowly, slowly drink the coffee. Exactly the all right. Go. Beautiful. And I'm going to finish with our cream. Lots of cream. I mm. love the cream. And look how smooth and firm is it. So smooth. Now, next step, we put this one in the fridge to set. Fantastic. Okay. Dom, tiramisu is ready. Shall we have a taste? Let's go. Okay. Ooh. Wow, so interestingly, usually everyone puts a lot of cocoa on the top, but you do it after. I like to do after because I, ni I like the cocoa nice and fresh, yep. okay? And doesn't get wet mm -hmm. and makes the plate look even a little bit better. Be generous, okay? Oh, I love it. I love a classic tiramisu. I mean, there's so many different ways of making it, but this way is just fantastic. Oh, so fluffy. That's the best. Well. It's that good. Now you have the recipe. You can make it at home. Thank you so much, Dom. I Thank you, it. Justin.